This is a Japanese dragonware teacup and saucer. It has Moriyagi design. It's marked Japan. Only $4. And it's got an amazing secret inside. Hello, everyone. It's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. It's the last day of June 2023 and summer has arrived. As you can see on my dash, the temperature is 102 degrees outside here in Vegas. It's a gorgeous hot Friday evening in Las Vegas and I am here at the Goodwill at Rainbow and Ulta in Las Vegas. It's about 6.23, we've got a couple of hours to shop, so let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! This is one of my favourite Goodwills here in Las Vegas. It's really nice and big, clean, everybody is friendly, and uh, although the prices can be a little bit more than other locations, they always seem to have great treasures uh, to find. So let's go inside and see what they have. Ooh, they are open July 4th, 9am to 6pm. We'll have to remember to look, see what the color of the day is. It is a purple. Here is the sign that tells us the color of the day. Uh, purple tags 50% off today. Let's grab a cart and see what we can find. I've got my Thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags. And I've already spotted something that I can't wait to take a look at. It's really nice quality, beautiful, bright, obviously crystal. And I think I can see what I'm looking for here on the edge of the rim. Let me see if I can show you. We'll take it over to a darker background. I'm going to zoom in and put it on black. Can you see that? Tiffany and Company, an amazing crystal candlestick. Together, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled to see if we can find a second one to make a pair. When you're thrifting, make sure you move everything around. Look all the way at the back, up high, down low. Don't miss anything. Always pick things up and feel them. You can tell so much about quality by picking things up. This is a little lead crystal votive holder. I quite like this, but I really think for something like this, I'm going to need two. So we'll pop it in the cart and see if we can find another one to match. Combing the shelves, looking carefully in the candle holders for crystal, for glassy baby, and for fire and light. Steuben, Baccarat, Orifors, all the higher end brands are etched with a mark. Some have a sticker. These little wood trunks are quite fun. What have we here? This looks like a little uh, light up tree stocking holder. Shall we see if it works? It is LED. Oh, I just noticed the, <laughs> the top of the tree is missing. It has a big chip in it. That is such a shame because it's really fun. I've never actually seen one of those before. Yeah, the top is definitely missing. This is a bag for a sunshade. All sorts of bits on this shelf. These are fabric ghost string lights for Halloween. They're marked at $6 and I think that's going to be a bit much for me for resale. I can probably only sell them for about $12 to $15, but I pop them in the cart just to be sure. Some little chickens in a nest here. 
I think this is a wine bottle holder. A hammered aluminium coaster there. I like that, but again, $3 a bit much. I would like to pay 69 cents or a dollar for that. Here is a little jewelry box. Doesn't want to open. Let's see. There we go. Some reed diffusers back there. Glasses. Oh, here's a vintage turkey shaker. I know I picked up a similar one of these not too long ago, but I can't remember if it's a match. Let's pop it in the cart anyway. We'll keep our fingers crossed. It doesn't have a price on it, but I'm sure they'll give me one at the checkout. These glasses are still there. It's an Easter bunny, more candle holders. Ooh, what's in this box? I love boxes. It's so fun to open them up and see what's inside. We'll pop it down here and see if we can take a look. Oh, it's a cat. I can see his whiskers. <laughs> Let's see, he is $8.799. I'm going to put you down here just a second while I slide this out of the box with both my hands. I think what it is is a whiteboard for notes. You use a dry erase marker. Look at his face. He's so fun, almost like Blue Sky Clayworks. Let's take off the polystyrene so we can have a good look and make sure he's not chipped or damaged. He's so cute. <laughs> I love the sunflower behind his ear. Absolutely lovely. Let's definitely get him. Up here, we have a pair of vintage wooden candlesticks. They're hand turned, you can tell by the holes in the bottom, $5 each, not too terribly exciting, so I'm going to leave those. Here is a snow globe. A couple of you asked me why I don't pick up snow globes, and as is the case with this one, the heat in Vegas either makes them cloudy with algae or uh, makes them evaporate, so I generally steer clear of them. Here is a little Asian, heaven, uh, Lucky Bamboo vase. Again, a little too much for me for resale. Somebody donated their massive miniature house collection. This entire shelf is full of them. Wow. You could have an instant collection, $3 a piece. It's not a brand I've heard of, so I... I'm going to leave those for somebody else. Let's keep going onto this shelf. Another snow globe here. Here is one that evaporated. You can see uh, both of those have really low water levels. I have heard that you can uh, refill those, but um, <laughs> I just don't need any more projects. Little occupied Japan figurine there. Those used to sell quite well for me, but recently um, I have quite a few in stock. Some reticulated plates. Oh, this is lovely. Embrace the day and choose joy. It's got flowers. It's got a dragonfly. A lovely little jute hanger. That's really nice. $3.00. Let's pop that into the cart. Okay, let's keep going. This is interesting. It's made in Russia. Is it some sort of drink dispenser? I think it might be missing parts. I don't know whether a pot goes on top of that. Let's pop it in the cart and we will browse the shelves to see if we can find any piece with a matching pattern to that. Down here we have some costume bits. The Last Supper here in resin. Not ever such good quality that. Made in China. 
we will leave that. Let's see, collector plates, more figurines over here. Here's a little pomanda. You pop a potpourri in there, four dollars. I had one of these when I was little. It didn't have a string on it. I think I still have it actually. And there's a blue one over here too. I really don't have an idea of what the resale value of these uh, might be. So I am going to take a look on eBay Souls to see how they do. Let's pop them just there. And we will take a look on eBay in just a minute. Piggy bank. It's a little willow tree girl, $5. Again, a little bit too much for me for resale. She would probably resell between 12 and $15. Some wooden figures here. Some damage on both of those, unfortunately. Here is a smaller one. This is fun. A Delft Blue House. I think it is a little mini decanter, $3. Absolutely love that. Thinking, oops, thinking about this piece. Uh, I think we will pop that into our cart. Just have a look, see if there are any more. I think that is for wine corks, a wine cork boot. This is a rooster bank. I have never seen <laughs> a rooster bank like that before. Five dollars. I think I might think about that too. Here's another little rooster. Great subject matter. Roosters sell really well for me. So I think uh, we will think about those two. Possibly look up and see if we can find anything similar in sold items. It's another little bird. Unfortunately, has some damage to its face. An old navy piggy bank. Some of these in good condition sell quite well. I'm not sure uh, which ones are the most sought after, but they have a different one every year. Little nesting doll, just one, unfortunately. Rooster tea light holder. That is a florist piece, glass vase, or possibly Ikea. What's in here? I am determined to know. Possibly tools. No, I think I just locked it. <laughs> there we go. Drill bits. <laughs> Lots of different drill bits. There's a decorative chicken. Some clear glass back there. Here are some cardinal salt and pepper shakers for $4. Those are sweet. Cardinals are really popular as well. They sell well for me. We'll go around the shelf. This is a candle or trinket tray. Into the seasonal aisle. Lots of Christmas plates and platters. This one is fun. Little stockings with a note to Santa. Oh, it's Tabletops Unlimited. Now that I'm familiar with the brand Tabletops Unlimited, I find all sorts of items of theirs. What else? Oh, this coffee set is still here. Sadly, there is a huge chip on the spout of the pot. 
All sorts of mugs and cups and saucers. That blue set is another casino giveaway. Those pop up everywhere, as do the polka dot and red bow ones. This is Target. The vintage Santa face mugs sell ever so well, but they have to be the truly vintage ones and in great condition. Nativity sets and decor, more figurines here. That poor reindeer with the broken antler is still there. Canisters and glasses. <laughs> the 12 days of Christmas also still here and also still priced too much for re uh, resale for me. Lots of cards and ribbons. This is interesting. It looks English. It's Royal Stafford. That's a very old English ceramics company founded in the 1800s, I believe. These are wall decor. Statement pieces. I'm going to pop that uh, Royal Stafford Bowl in the cart and just check on how well they do in the sold items of eBay. See if it's worth me picking it up. More Christmas plates here. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We've got plush Shrek and Fiona here, a decorative Christmas star. This, I believe, is party light, but it's broken, unfortunately. A cherub is missing. Mug arrangements. Oh, look at these girls, little angels, uh, like a, a hinged screen. I think these are from the 80s. They look very arts and craftsy. Let me carefully bring these down and see how much they are. Oop. Let's see what else. Oh, I see Kermit back there. It's a salt and pepper shaker, $6, Kermit and Miss Piggy. <laughs> Kermit is a magician doing the sawing Miss Piggy in half trick. I am almost positive that that is a great find. So into the cart it goes. Here's a baggie of Christmas Village figurines. And a Santa playing a double bass. Here's an elephant. I'm not sure if he's a cereal bowl or a plant stand. He probably could be either or. Cookie stamps here. Another snow globe that's evaporated and it has the algae growth in it. Some Christmas cards. These are always handy. I send a lot of Christmas cards. <laughs> we'll grab those. This looks like a little pumpkin napkin holder. It's made of onyx. It does have a crack in it there, unfortunately, so we'll leave it on the shelf. These are pretty. Christmas ornaments with reindeer and tree cutouts and some snow in the back. They're like snow globes without the water, so we'll take those. Candle holders. Pine cone bowl with a ghost candy tray underneath. He's quite fun. I think he is a Big Lots or Target piece though. 
the pine cone bowl is better homes and gardens it's quite good about a 25 dollar piece but i already have a similar one in my inventory this i believe is a freebie that came from jc pennies it's a little mickey mouse snow globe and again unfortunately the water is yellowed and evaporated so let's get that back into its box there we go signs some plates from kirkland's let's have a look at these quite fun but unfortunately they just don't sell very well so we will leave them on the shelf some christmas balls decorations these look like little bungees with decorative balls on the ends I shop for Christmas all year long. Not only do I shop for resale, but I shop for gifts for my friends and family. It's fun to be able to stash away the ideal little something when you see it. And I also buy cards and wrap and labels. So come Christmas, I have everything I need. This is a little ornament from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's the abominable snowman for three dollars and he looks quite vintage so let's get him let's see what is this it looks a bit like otagiri a spoon rest but as i look closer it's not ever such good quality so we will leave that let's grab a snowman more plates over here ornaments let's see here we are in the vases planters and florals lots of arrangements today they're really quite pretty i've just noticed this piggy bank at the back here really nice floral pattern but sadly he's in rough shape broken on top and his back foot that is really sad because he's very vintage looking and quite lovely a shot glass souvenir piece it's a shell with an arrangement all sorts of bowl and vase filler here little elephant with a faux succulent cups and mugs and dishes day of the dead planters some patriotic buckets here's a vintage trivet it says made in Mexico Mexican tile I'm not a huge fan of that pattern so I'm going to leave it here's a glass oyster dish faux plants down at the bottom it's a nice big planter but missing a handle vases what's this floral piece at the back here probably teleflora or similar pro flowers yep all sorts of shapes and sizes decorative bits these I believe are anchor hocking little gram cranberry vases probably 10 to 12 dollars on those this looks like it came from home goods 
planters and candle holders. Some of you have asked what you should be looking for when you see bubbles in glass. High-end glass has controlled bubbles. Bubbles that are the same size and spacing. Those are called Bullicante and uh, Murano Italian glass has those. The piece we just saw is inexpensive, quite pretty, but just random bubbles, much easier to do. Oh, look at this. This is German, I believe. Absolutely lovely Gers piece of pottery. It's $3. I believe it's a mug. The company mostly does steins, but I love the finish of this. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's pop that into the cart. It's another fridge jug, little vases. Basket here. I love the pattern on this planter, but as I pick it up, I notice that it's very lightweight, not good quality. The same with this piece. And this piece, that one is actually pink flash painted mass produced plates here it's a cup and saucer this is an interesting little piece i believe it's a project piece that somebody has made i love the colors the yellow with the green it's glazed inside and out it is signed on the bottom three little feet stop it from scratching your surfaces that is very unique i love the way it fits together it looks like it does have a little imperfection there maybe a little chip off the corner really not noticeable though it could be touched up it almost looks like a bird's beak, doesn't it? <laughs> Little hook uh, top beak over the top there. Really nice, unique piece. Let's get that into the cart. Interesting white vase here, possibly vintage. El Torito, that is a Mexican restaurant here. Actually, I believe they used to be in California. I'm not sure whether they're around anymore. Does anyone have an El Torito near them? Lots of clear glass, florist vases. This one has painted grapes. A wall sconce. Oh, this is interesting. This is a bulb forcer. And I was actually looking for something to put my sprouted avocado seed in. I think this would be absolutely perfect. $3. I am going to get that for me. Hopefully the hole isn't too big to where the avocado will just fall through. I suppose I could use some toothpicks. Let's go around the corner here. It's a sweet little shot glass with a pink base. Into the plates and bowls. I always have a quick scan of these shelves for uranium glass, depression glass, vintage glass. Plates and platters are not really my favorite to list or ship. But if I can make a really good profit on a specific pattern or design, I will sometimes pick them up. These are interesting. Made in Scotland. Burnham. They have a thistle on them. 
They're $14.99 for five plates. Let's see, I'm going to get my mobile app out. We'll take a look on eBay or Google Lens and we'll see what these sell for. Here's Google Lens. I'm going to take a picture of the plates. There we go. And Google will search its database for things that most closely match. The reception isn't the greatest in this Goodwill, so sometimes it takes a minute. There we go. These ones are dinner plates. They are $15 for the five. And the reception isn't the best here, so I think we are going to skip those just based on the fact that they are $15 and it really takes a specific customer to move something like these. $23 on a dinner plate. If you're a reseller, there's an annual event here in Las Vegas that you don't want to miss. October is the month of the Boss Reseller Remix. This year, it's October 16th through 19th. And I have had the honor of being invited to be one of the speakers at this year's conference. Please check out their website. I'll put a link on the screen. Tickets are now available and they're selling out fast. We would absolutely love to meet you, but if you can't be there in person, there are also real-time virtual tickets available and I have a discount code for you on those. If you put in my code THRIFTLV at the time of checkout, you'll receive $10 off your virtual ticket. It's informative, it's motivational, and you're guaranteed to meet tons of like-minded new friends. It's designed for every level, from beginner to advanced. So if you're ready to take your reselling business to the next level, save the date, buy your tickets for the Boss Reseller Remix 2023. This is a Japanese dragonware teacup and saucer. It has Moriyagi design. It's marked Japan. Only $4. And it's got an amazing secret inside. I can't show you now because the cup and saucer are taped together. But stay tuned for my haul and I'll reveal something incredible. Here we are in the kitcheny bits, lots of boxes up on the top shelf. Don't forget to look high and low. Many people just look at what's right in front of them and they often miss something amazing. Serving dishes up here, dessert makers, some salt and pepper shakers, all sorts of glass bits. tumblers, little canister, down here I have spotted something familiar, let me zoom in for you, FF is Fitz and Floyd, these labels are obviously vintage, they're salt and pepper shakers, peacocks are absolutely gorgeous, so we'll put those into our cart. Nice glass carafe. This is a gorgeous mid-century little coffee set. Unfortunately, I think the lids are missing on the coffee pot and on the sugar. But the design is beautiful, so mid-century modern. This one is signed. 
looks like 1967. I absolutely love the linear graphic with the orange block. I think we are going to grab these and pop them in the cart. The sugar bowl has some vintage beads inside, black and uh, crystal style. It's a little precarious. I might have to rearrange. Well, let's see if there's anything else. Keeping an eye out for what will probably be plain uh, domed lids for the sugar and the coffee pot. Just checking out what's in these stacks of plates here. making sure they are oh look at this this is vintage i think it's scandinavian it is a little bit chipped around the edge it's eight dollars but i think for this piece i am willing to forgive a couple of small chips if i I'm correct, this piece is worth maybe $50. Safely in the cart, and we will keep going to see what else we can find. This is a lovely glass piece back here. I'm going to carefully bring it forward, look at the label. Sasaki, that is quite a high-end name. However, Goodwill is asking $25 on this piece, and I have a feeling that is almost uh, about retail or what I would ask for it. It appears to be in good condition, but... Uh, I think 25 is just a bit too much for me for resale. So we are going to leave it on the shelf. We'll keep going to the next section. We've got a deviled egg plate, lovely blue color, contemporary piece. More sugars and creamers, Mikasa, canisters. bowls and servers this is an interesting old spice rack designed to go right in a corner there wow wood and glass and this now i know what this is because i found one before and uh, you lovely subscribers left me comments to let me know that this is for holding a ball of yarn where, while you're knitting or crocheting. It's a wool holder. And I have a suspicion that that is quite a desirable piece. Chickens are good, wool holders are good. <laughs> How can we go wrong? lovely English bone china poppy mug unfortunately it has a massive crack on the inside spoon rest gravy boats this is a huge bowl I can't even lift it to see if it's signed Platters and servers. Oh, this is quite fun. I like the swirl at the base. But again, very, very heavy. I wouldn't want to ship it. 
and at the moment I don't have much room in my booth. Many of you have been asking for a walkthrough of my booth at the Good Stuff Thrift Store and that will be coming up very soon in a uh, future episode. Another big Italian serving bowl, mixing bowl. Here's another of those oyster plates. All sorts of decorative platters, serving trays, and divided dishes. And here is a lone polka dot red bow Christmas plate. I have a few plates left. Uh, no mugs. Many of you have purchased them from me. Thank you so much. If anybody wants any more of those, do let me know and I will continue to keep an eye out for them. Oh, look at this beautiful pink dish. It's absolutely lovely. Tri-footed. Looks to be in great condition. However, they're asking $15 on this piece. So I am going to leave it for someone else. Another little anchor hocking cranberry vase there. There's the mark. Has a ruffled top, only $2. Here in the miscellaneous aisle, I have spotted some amazing coasters. I'm not sure what they're made of, possibly Bakelite, but they're green with this incredible swirl pattern. They're in their original box here, Floret Floret coasters. They are really amazing, so I am definitely going to grab these, along with this little photo album for your purse. For only two dollars pocket pictures again i just love the vintage look of it here on my table is everything i found at goodwill <laughs> ziggy <laughs> and bandit are here hello boys First, we have this amazing Embrace the Day and Choose Joy plaque. It has a lovely dragonfly on it <laughs> with lots of flowers. It's really beautifully done. The flowers are very delicate and the message is perfect. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $25. I absolutely love the design on the front of this little photo album. It's a book and I believe it holds the wallet size pictures. I'm gathering that inside each picture is framed as you see here. I paid $2 for it. I'm going to ask $12. I have never seen these coasters before. They are absolutely fantastic. The original box with the original advertising is everything here. And these are the coasters. They feel like plastic. I'm wondering if they could be Bakelite. Each one is a flower. And there are two, four, seven of them. There are seven of them. I paid, I think I paid two or three dollars for them. And I'm going to ask $20. Next we have our amazing Fitz and Floyd salt and pepper shakers. I initially thought they were peacocks, but now I actually think they are phoenix. Phoenix sisters. <laughs> they are silver toned. This one says faux silver glaze, a decorative finish unsuitable for dishwasher or abrasive scrubbing. 
Fitz and Floyd of Japan. I don't know that they were ever used because that label is intact. Here is the other one. I found a white pair on eBay for $35. I paid, I think I paid $4 for these and I am going to ask $25. This is a bulb forcer. It's glass and what you do is you put your bulb, or in this case I'm intending to put an avocado stone in the top. Uh, it supports it and allows it to grow. I have my uh, avocado in a small juice glass at the moment, but I think this will be much more suitable. Paid three dollars for it and uh, I'm not sure who makes it, but I am going to use it. I will show you next time how I'm using it. This, I believe, is a cat whiteboard that you would mark on with a dry erase marker. It's Apple Tree Designs by Bonnie Lee Roth. It's brand new in the box, as you can see. I paid $8 for it and I am going to ask $28. Last time I found one of these, I didn't know what it was and it was broken, it was cracked. So I was really excited uh, when I saw this one. It does have a little bit of paint bleeding here, manufacturer's paint and a teeny tiny chip on the beak. But other than that, it's in lovely condition. These are sold out completely online. Darn Good Yarn Chicken. I paid $5 for it, and I'm going to ask $25. Next, we have our fantastic Gers of West Germany mug. Look at the texture of this. If anyone decorates in blue and gray, this is a wonderful piece. You could use it as a mug or a vase. You could fit a lot of coffee in there and it would be actually really great for a man cave. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $15. Next, we have what I believe is a little coffee serving set. Now I'm not certain because I couldn't find anything similar online but I believe there is a lid missing here and a lid missing on the coffee pot. If anybody speaks, I believe this is German, if you would leave me a comment I would truly appreciate it. It says 1967 at the bottom, there is the mark. If anyone also is familiar with that mark and can help me out with it, I would also appreciate it. I paid $5 on the pot, 4 on the creamer, and 4 on the sugar bowl. And inside the sugar bowl, as you saw, were these vintage beads black flowers, crystal flowers, and little assortment of other beads. Um, as I say, if anyone has information on the maker or the age of this, I'm assuming pre-1967, I would really appreciate your help in the comments. So let's see, my math isn't as speedy as it once was. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and four is 13. I paid $13 for the set, and I value it with the missing lids, probably $35 to $45. Over here, we have our lovely set of ornaments. I really like these. I don't know if you can see the iridescence of these, but the, the trees are iridescent and then behind there's some snow enclosed in the ornament. As I say, sort of like 
um, a snow globe without the snow. There's two of the tree ones and then there's ones with reindeers and the star. Absolutely lovely. They're really nice, very unique. Uh, also in that baggie was this metal reindeer guy with the fancy hanger and this buck head in a frame. If you collect reindeers or you have a reindeer theme, these would be the perfect addition. These would look ever so classy on your tree, especially with the light reflecting. It would look like a beautiful snow scene. I paid $5 for the baggie and I am going to ask $25. Next we have our bowl here. This is a vintage Scandinavian bowl with ladies all around the edge. Now unfortunately it has a couple of chips. Let me zoom for you. One here and then I'm going to swivel the bowl to show you this one there. however it is a beautiful piece these are quite spendy online I paid eight dollars for it and I value it 35 to 45 dollars back here we have our Tiffany and Company beautiful candlestick. You can just see the quality as I did when I saw it on the shelf. And then I'm going to use Bandit to show you the mark here. You can see, let me just zoom again. Bandit, you're all dusty. There is the mark, Tiffany and Company etched into the candlestick. I did look really, really hard. I couldn't find a second one. I'm wondering if somebody broke the second one and uh, donated this one. I'm just going to lay it there just for safety. I paid $5 for it. And under the label is a tag that says $118. I can see it through there um, but I have been unable to find this exact piece online and for that reason it's a great candidate for eBay when you can't find uh, an identical style of a well-known brand on eBay that tells you it might be something that's in demand and you can make an excellent profit on over here we have a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Abominable Snowman Ornament. Now, the package looks quite vintage. I couldn't find a date on it. Oh, wait. 1992. 1992. Abominable Snowman. We paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $15. Over here we have our vintage turkey lonely shaker. It doesn't match the other one I have, unfortunately, but it's still a really nice piece. You can see the age, his paint is wearing a bit and uh, has his, I, you know, I don't think that's the original cork. I think someone's replaced the cork. Still, it's a lovely, lovely piece. I think I paid two or three dollars for it and I've just noticed he has a little chip on his back anyway still cool and I would ask twelve dollars this is a blue Delft piece it's a little tiny decanter. The cork has been sheared off, unfortunately, uh, but it's still a lovely house. These go for 
a surprising amount uh, on eBay. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $25. This is a very unique project piece. It's a trinket box, triangular in shape. To me, it looks like a bird's beak. Tell me if you agree. I love the texture. I love the colors. It's glazed inside and out. Unfortunately, this corner does have a little chip, but I think that could be smoothed over and uh, barely, barely noticeable. I paid $4 for it, and I am going to ask $25. Another set of salt and pepper shakers are little cardinals here. Really, really sweet. Lovely for Christmas. I know many of you told me that you collect cardinals, which is why I picked these up. I think I paid uh, 3 or $4 for them, and I am going to ask $12. I think this is my sleeper today. Uh, I knew that the Muppets are great subject matter, always popular. This is Kermit and Miss Piggy. Kermit the Magician is doing his slice Miss Piggy in half trick. <laughs> uh, and these, surprisingly, on eBay go for upwards of $35. Between $35 and $50 for this salt and pepper shaker set here. They're made in Japan. The brand is Sigma. And uh, I believe I paid $4 for those. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the secret of the vintage Japanese dragonware uh, Moriyagi teacup. Now, Moriyagi, as you can see, is this raised ceramic or clay or enamel in this case it's clay it's raised off the surface of the cup in multiple layers it's a very uh, tough skill to master the artists are very very talented anyhow here's the cup the little mini saucer to match Japan on the bottom there and here is the secret. When you look in the cup, you don't see anything. But when you hold it up to the light, an amazing thing happens. This is a lithopane. It's a geisha. And she is in relief at the bottom of the cup. When the light shines through, it creates shade and dark, and your eye sees a picture. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Goodwill and the haul. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. Don't forget to check out the Boss Reseller Remix here in Las Vegas, October 16th through 19th. If you can't join us here in Vegas, you have the option of getting virtual interactive tickets. You can be there with us virtually, ask questions and participate. And with my code, ThriftLV, you can get $10 off the price of a ticket. Please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of our house painting job. It's complete and we love it. Uh, stay tuned to have a look at that. Of course, uh, dogs and cats and hummingbirds. I'll see you next time. Bye.
So tomorrow is very exciting. We are going to be having our house painted. So this morning I have to take it out off the old fixtures here and um, prepare everything for the painters to come tomorrow. Yesterday they actually power washed our house. So let me give you a little before shot. This light has to come down as well. When we bought the house, it was this sort of sea and sand blue and yellowy <laughs> combination with salmon colored rails. We are going to do the main color in green. The gar garage doors will be white and the railings black i think it's going to look really really nice so that's all happening tomorrow this is really exciting they're just putting on the finishing touches now it's almost done here's jake oops Oh, it looks fantastic. I'm so thrilled. Yeah, <laughs> Much better. If you watched my last episode, you will know that we've had the outside of our house painted. You saw the old color scheme, and now I'm going to show you the new color scheme on our house. The main color is a beautiful sage green. We have white trim and garage doors. And our front doors and patio doors are black. I also installed brand new lanterns here next to the garage up on the patio and inside the front door. I'm absolutely thrilled with the way it turned out. I love the colors. And now I'll give you a peek at the back. Here is the back of the house. There aren't any pop outs. So we just had it all in the main color green. with white accents on the roof line. Trees are doing really, really well. We've got some peaches coming. Over here, we have some lemons. This is a pomegranate tree. And over here, roses, another lemon. and an orange tree. If you're subscribed to my channel, you might remember the episode where we went to the garden center and bought this fig tree. It's doing amazingly well. I don't expect to have figs this year, but more than likely next year. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. You don't have to, but if you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you will be notified every time I release a new episode.
More zoomies. Into the creek. <laughs> 